I was uh, a criminal lawyer for, for 20 odd years and uh, during the course of that, of course, you represent many people with mental illnesses and it, it was quite clear that uh, they ended up in jail because of a, a lack of a, of a good alternative to jail, such as support in the community. So that, that led me to be involved in various organizations in my community, uh, St. John's, Newfoundland. And, and I think it's uh, that interest that also interested me to, to, be, uh, to participate nationally with, uh, with some of the same concerns and issues. And personally, I also, uh, uh, like I think several people on the board, live with a mental illness. And uh, over the course of, uh, of my life, um, it, it's been quite destructive, uh, I think, in terms of my professional life and also personal life. And, and uh, although uh, I would, uh, pr probably luckier than most people who uh, live with an illness, um, you know, I recognize still that there are problems in terms of the delivery of services, that, that uh, it's quite clear that uh, an awful lot of services for people with mental illnesses are not recovery focused. They're not focused on the, the needs uh, of the person who has the illness, but rather it's focused on the needs of people who are delivering uh, the service. So th th that's really why I was interested in joining the, uh, the board of the Mental Health Commission. It, uh, um, you know, it, it was a remarkable opportunity that, uh, uh, ironically, I suppose, that uh, Prime Minister Harper gave the commission uh, to, to make a, a, a big difference, and I think it has made a big difference in, in how uh, 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 mental illness is, is perceived and how services are, are delivered in the communities across the country.